Om Shanti. Today is your 110th day of your meditative blessing. And in today's blessing, Baba talks us through the easy method of Raj Yoga meditation. The method through which we can actually feel detached as a soul from this body. So let's learn the method today and understand what exactly does Baba want us to achieve so as to go into liberation along with him before the end of this Kali Yuga. So in today's blessing, Baba says, May you constantly be an easy yogi. Easy yogi means somebody who is constantly in touch with the self as a soul and is able to connect the mind and the intellect within the soul and make a sanskar or a habit of connecting it constantly with the supreme soul, the point of light, the divine being. So why the point of light? I am in touch with the supreme point of light, the divine being. So it's a soul to soul connection, a spiritual connection not the physical connection. So here we get to know the method of how to easily turn myself into a constant easy yogi. So may you be constantly be an easy yogi who grants a vision of an angelic form. So God comes down on earth and he turns common souls, simple souls who might not be very rich in the physical world but they are rich in values and virtues but have forgotten them and have gone into the path of sin. So God comes down on earth, removes us from the path of sin and reminds us of our previous birth. He gives us the knowledge of who we were in our previous birth how we were divine beings, how we were on earth when there was a time of heaven on earth itself. And then slowly, slowly over a period of time, we started to forget that who we are. We turned from soul conscious into body consciousness because of changing so many bodies on this earth. And that made us more and more body conscious and we started doing sins. And Baba says then, I turn you from a sinful soul into an angelic soul who is able to help many other souls. But first you have to help yourself. So Baba says, who grants a vision of an angelic form with your practice of being detached. So until now, unless I don't become detached with my bodily thoughts and bodily desires, it doesn't mean that I stop eating, stop breathing. It means that I become soul conscious and do every karma of mine through this body as an instrument in a soul conscious way so that it becomes a light karma not a heavy one which makes me heavy and makes other souls also heavier through the result of those karmas so Baba says in the explanation just as it is in your hands to wear a garment or not wear it you can decide which color you want to wear which style you want to wear or you can decide I don't want to wear this today in the same way have the same experience with the garment of your body. So God has taught us in Brahma Kumaris that this body is a garment for I the soul. I am a spark, a point of light sitting right at the center of my forehead, a couple of inches behind, below the two brain lobes and from there I am controlling the brain. I the soul, the spark, the non-physical entity, you are just looking at my physical body right now and there is a name for this body which is Parampreet or Shanu. But that is not me, the true me. I am a spark, I am a soul who is controlling this body whose name has been given as Shanu or Parampreet. And through this brain, I am controlling the body and doing all my karmas. So Baba says, this body is your wear, a garment, the cloth which you wear in this birth and then again change it. So no attachment to your cloth or the garment. If you have attachment to your garment, then what's going to be your lifestyle then? How are you going to think? How are you going to behave? Think about it. So Baba says, So with the garment of your body, you have to experience the same thing. You wear a costume to perform a task. And as soon as the task is accomplished, you take off the costume. If you are an armed forces person, you'll wear your dress, go for combat. And once the combat is finished, you come back. You come back from your office. You're back to your normal thing. If you're an engineer, you'll wear your different garments, which are required for you not getting your body dirty, go for that work, come back and you're back to normal. If you're a nurse, you'll know what you have to wear. 
you know which surgical masks you'll know which gloves to wear and then you'll take them off once your work is done right similarly over here Baba says so once your task is complete, you complete accomplished you take off the costume that's what we do now regarding the soul and the body and the body as a costume how do we do that so Baba says once you learn the meditation process of soul consciousness you experience the detachment of soul and body while walking and moving around. That's the highest form of detachment because most of the souls in the world don't even know who has to go into liberation. They say that I have to go into liberation. I need mukti. I need liberation. But who am I? Am I this body? Am I this brain which is going to go into liberation? No. Right? I am a soul. So until unless I have the feeling that I am a soul, just like I know that there is air, I can't see air, but I can feel air. Similarly, I can't see the soul that I am. But with the intellect, with thorough meditation, I can feel that I am a soul, I am a spark. I can feel that I am totally different from this body. I have experienced that in Brahma Kumaris. Many other souls can experience. They can feel a spark, they can feel an energy right at the center of the forehead. And it feels so different from the physical body. It's an energy which is glowing and which can only glow when we are in contact with the Supreme Soul, the Supreme Father who gives us the spark or the energy or the light to make us feel detached from the body for a couple of seconds, for a couple of minutes too. And that is a very crucial experience which many saints don't even have it even after being in tapasya for many, many years sitting under a roof or sitting under a tree or sitting in a cave. So they crave for that and God over here gives us so easily that you have to consider yourself as a soul detached from the body and then every thought of yours has to be soul conscious and this knowledge makes us more and more detached from the body and we can feel ourselves sitting right over here at the center an energy a waveform a light which is so different from this body a beautiful experience to have so when baba says experience the detachment of soul and body while walking and moving around you can literally feel that i am a soul who's walking in this body not that i am a body not even having a feeling of who the, who the soul is. So that is what God wants us to believe and feel while being in meditation. So many souls who will vision, who will have visions of an angelic form and a future royal status through the children who remain detached in this way. So if you are detached in your body, you can make other, feel, other souls also feel detached completely. But that's a very high stage and it can only be attained by being soul conscious throughout the day while doing your karma also. So, Baba says, at the end, there will be an impact made by this type of service. At the end means, when the end time comes, you won't have time to give knowledge through the mouth, like the way I'm talking to you. There won't be any internet, there won't be any satellites during that time. That will be the condition of the world. So during that time, only our angelic form, that means when I'm totally detached from the body, the angelic form of us will serve the whole world. People will be able to see angels up in the sky. Our angelic forms will be seen. So that is what God wants us to become, an angel sitting in this body. I leave you with this beautiful Vardhan. Think about it, contemplate, and do come over and learn the beautiful meditative process of feeling like a soul detached from the body. Have a blessed day. Stay safe.